Okay, welcome back to members of 121 Community Church in Grapevine, Texas, and our ongoing study in the Complete Works of Plato, translated by Benjamin Joette. We're going to look at uh, the Protagoras, uh, the first half of the original document. We've finished the introduction, so now we're into the first half of the original document, and it will include the first three exchanges of dialectic. Be pages 320 to 344. Let's go to block one and take a look at the first exchange of dialectic. It begins with Protagoras. Sophists disguise themselves behind poets like Simonides and prophets like Orpheus, using the arts as veils. However, I declare myself a pure sophist, seeking to convey the instruction of mankind. Socrates, education is a commitment of the soul, and it can result in good or it can result in harm. And there should include some mediation of elders in this process, says Socrates, to ensure the betterment of mankind. And that's why Socrates is there to assist his friend who wants to be taught by Protagoras. So we have the first synthesis. Protagoras says that sophist teaching is inclusive of both poetry and prophecy for the instruction of mankind. Socrates says, as a commitment of the soul, sophist teaching must include the mediation of philosophical speculative reason. So there must be a balanced betterment of mankind. So, Socrates, um, Socrates argues for the inclusion of his input. He is there to support his friend, but he is there also, he figures as a necessity to uh, um, complement the teaching of Protagoras. That's the first exchange. Which brings us to block two, the second exchange or the dialectic. Okay, block two, the uh, second exchange of the dialectic. <clears throat> Protagoras, I teach how to order one's life and how to act in the affairs of state. It is called the art of politics, which can be taught through the first principles of reverence and justice and wisdom. Justice, temperance, and holiness are all abbreviated under political virtue to supply man with harmony and with rhythm. Virtue is unif a unified whole with many parts. A unified whole with many parts. Socrates, the art of politics cannot be taught. Not man to man especially. Virtue itself cannot be taught, either as a whole or as a multiplicity. The second synthesis, virtue can be taught as a unified whole abbreviated under the category of wisdom. But Socrates says virtue cannot be taught, especially political wisdom, man to man. Synthesis, if taught, virtue must be a multiplicity with an overarching category. It must be a multiplicity with an overarching unifying category. And uh, according to this dialectic, second dialectic, that uh, overarching category is wisdom. The overarching category is wisdom. Now the third exchange of the dialectic in block three. Now we begin with Socrates. Knowledge, courage, temperance, and holiness are unique virtues. We must inquire into their nature because they all have a common nature. They are similar and possess difference both. Protagoras, there is a difference between the individual virtues. There is difference and there is resemblance. They each have a singular opposite. Resultant dialectic, Protagoras, there is a difference between the parts of virtue, a difference, yet some resemblance as well. Socrates, the separate virtues are unique, but show a common nature. Similarity and difference exist. Both 
thinkers are seeking a harmony of ideas. So in this first half of the original document, we conclude with a, a shared goal. The harmony of ideas is a shared goal by Protagoras and Socrates. They both seek a shared harmony of ideas. So we get a, a great beginning. This is the first half of the original document. And uh, we get uh, excellent content in block one. We had our synthesis as a uh, sophist teaching includes poetry and prophecy for the instruction of mankind. And Socrates says it teaching is a commitment of the soul. And sophist teaching must be inclusive with the mediation of philosophical speculative reason. So that's the first exchange. Socrates says that uh, sophist teaching is preliminary but cannot stand on its own. Philosophy must be correlated with this teaching. The second exchange in block two is about teaching. Socrates declares the art of politics cannot be taught. So if you look at the block two, note three, we begin with Protagoras. Virtue can be taught as a unified whole, abbreviated under wisdom. Socrates, virtue cannot be taught, especially political wisdom. So the conclusion is, in the second exchange, there must be an overarching category of unity for the diverse, unique virtues. The third dialectic, if you go to 3.3, 3, Protagoras says, there is difference between the parts of virtue, and yet there is also resemblance. Socrates, virtues are unique, but show, share a common nature. Similarity and difference exist together. Both thinkers conclude this first half of exchange with a quest for the harmony of ideas. So Plato is introducing us to the harmony of ideas, and we will next pick up the second half of the original document, which will run from 344 to 368, the final 24 pages. 344 to 368 will conclude the original document. So that's going to wrap up uh, the first half of the original document, which is uh, 320 to 344. And as a quick recap, all we have to do is look at uh, block one, note three. Sophist teaching is inclusive of pro poetry and prophecy. Socrates, commitment of the soul, means that sophist teaching must include the mediation of philosophical reason. And then block two, note three, Protagoras says virtue can be taught. Socrates says virtue cannot be taught. And if taught, it must have an overarching category, an overarching category of unity that uh, speaks to a common nature. And then the third dialectic, three, three, there is a difference between the parts of virtue, says Protagoras. And Socrates says, separate virtues are unique, but show a common nature, a similarity. And that is going to be the notion of the harmony of ideas. So it gives us uh, what we need. We had basically, uh, in these three moments, we had dialectic concerning the complementary necessity of philosophy in block one. There is a necessity for philosophical reason in block one. Then we had the uh, declaration that virtue is both a gift and can be taught in block two. Socrates 
declared that virtue is something that isn't taught. It's more of a gift. And then block three, there has to be a unifying factor in the many diverse virtues. They share a commonality. That commonality is a uh, overarching idea that will create unity between the uh, separate virtues. There will be an overarching commonality. So that's going to give us Protagoras Part B, the first half of the original document. Now we've covered the introduction and the first half of the original document. We will conclude next time with the final 24 pages of the original document of the Protagoras.